Hey everyone, and welcome to the arcade room. Today, I'm gonna to be telling you three things about the 80s sensation, Pac-Man. Number one, starting off with an easy one. Pac-Man came out in May 22nd, 1980. Number two, Pac-Man was designed by game designer Toru Iwatani when he was just 24 years old. Number three, here's know that Pac-Man's design came from a pizza when you remove a slice. Number four, the names for the ghosts are Fickle, Chaser, Ambusher, and Stupid. At least those are their Japanese names. But their English names are Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. Number 5. The slowest ghost in Pac-Man is a purple ghost named Sue, which appeared in Pac-Man 256. Number 6. The, mass the maximum possible score in Pac-Man is 3,333,000. 360 points. Damn, and I can barely get past 10k. Number 7. Toru Watani basically had no game designer experience. Number 8. Did you guys know that the ghosts actually follow a pattern? Blinky constantly chases Pac-Man. Pinky attempts to ambush him. Inky is randomized depending on the Pac-Man's position and Clyde will get close to the player and then attempt to flee to the bottom left corner, potentially cutting off any potential escape routes. Number 9. Pac-Man's concept of eating the power pills came from the classic cartoon Popeye the Sailor Man and his infamous spinach. Number 10. Mrs. Pac-Man, although came later, is actually considered a better game than the original. Number 11. Do you guys know that Pac-Man was originally released as Puck-Man, but was later changed because of fears that people would vandalize the name from a P to a F? Uh, oh, yeah. Well, that's fucking ridiculous. Number 12. There's actually an economic term called the Pac-Man defense. The Pac-Man defense is a defensive business strategy used to fight off a hostile takeover. Basically, a company that is threatened with a hostile takeover turns the tables by attempting to buy its would-be buyer. Number 13. The composer for the music in Pac-Man is Toshio Kai. Number 14. There are over 90, yes, 90 Pac-Man games. Number 15. Pac-Man actually had a TV series and it was first released in 1982 through 1983 by the Hanna-Barbera Production Company. Number 16. The Pac-Man TV series was the highest rated Saturday morning cartoon show in the U.S. during 1982. Wow. 1982 did not have good Saturday morning TV. Number 17. The Pac-Man TV series was the first cartoon ever based on a video game. Number 18. Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures were first released in June 15, 2013 through May 29, 2015. This guy had two TV shows. Damn. Number 19. Pac-Man Championship Edition DX is the highest grossing Metacritic game. Number 20. William James Mitchell Jr. became the first person to reach a perfect score in Pac-Man. Albeit a little debatable. Number 21. Pac-Man snack pellets were actually originally supposed to be cookies. Number 22. The first console that Pac-Man was released on was the Atari 2600. Number 23. Pac-Man has a glitch known as the 256 glitch, where on the level 256, the right side becomes a jumbled mess and the level becomes literally impossible to beat. Number 24. Pac-Man actually has two kids. Their names are Junior Pac-Man and Baby Pac-Man. Number 25. As of the making of this video, Pac-Man is 41 years old, 42 next month. Number 26. You guys know that in Pac-Man, there's something known as the ghost glitch. Basically how you do it is on the player one joystick, enter up, 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 down, 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 left, right, left, right, left. If the ghost on the game select screen turn pink and a sound plays, then you did it right. Number 27. The fruits in the original Pac-Man are cherry, strawberry, orange, apple, melon, galaxian, bell, and key. How those last three are a fruit is beyond me. Number 28. The key 
actually awards the most bonus points it at a whopping 5,000. Number 29. You guys know that before Toru Watani made Pac-Man, he actually made two other games known as GB and QDQ. Number 30. Pac-Man is the most successful coin-operated arcade game. Also, one last little bonus fact. Do you guys know that there was almost a Pac-Man reality TV show? That's right. We almost could have had this. All right, everyone. That's it from me. The arcade is officially closed. I'll see you all on the next one.